So today we had the Pokemon event. Pretty awesome, honestly. Uh, I don't know if you're into the art direction, maybe of the of the Diamond and Pearl uh, remakes or remasters, whatever you want to call them. They basically did what they did with the Link to the Past, brought it back a more chibi art style. Uh, it is what it is. Also, uh, Legends Arceus, like uh, yes, that's everything I've been wanting them to do with Pokemon for a long time. Not exactly the most visually pleasing game, of course. Uh, obviously there's a lot of hope for me anyways, that they work a lot on the visual presentation of the game, maybe getting a hold of the Zelda team and learn a little bit, little bit about developing this open world, but it is truly Game Freak's first try ever making a truly fully open world game. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a pass as long as the gameplay and everything else works. It even looked like in the trailer that it was chugging a little bit. Uh, so definitely a lot of kinks to work out. And I'm confident that they'll figure it out. I'm just glad to see that they're even experimenting and finally doing something fresh with the series, in my opinion. Of course, uh, your opinions on Pokemon might be different. Uh, what I want to talk about is the fact that these games leaked yesterday. Now look, I love leaks. I cover leaks all the time. The only reason that I didn't even get a video out on the leaks of, of this yesterday is because I wasn't home. If I was home, I would have got the video out on these leaks and warned you guys what was inside. Here's the thing. There is definitely someone who has access to something at Nintendo. I don't know who this someone is. We have their username. They have nailed everything they have leaked in the last year. Uh, we're talking about a Reddit user by the name of Practical Brush 12. Literally nailed down to the titles yesterday what was in this Pokemon video. Uh, and, you know, when people say, I don't know how you do it, you were spot on. And he responds to people and goes, like, no idea. Like, he's not going to tell you how he gets his information. Um, he also leaked the pretty much the entirety of the last Nintendo Direct. Uh, he leaked all the information on Monster Hunter in the past. Uh, he's leaked uh, Persona 5 S Scramble and how it was coming to PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch a long time ago. I mean, he's got stuff going back forever. He leaked Diablo 2 Remaster or, you know, whatever they called it. Uh, they, they leaked information on Diablo 4. All of his leaks going on a year have been 100% correct. It is very rare that we have a leaker with a 100% track record. Now look, we do get leakers that get information that sometimes proves right, sometimes proves wrong. Emily Rogers has a very, very good track record, but sometimes things don't come together. Misinformation gets shared around between different sources, and before long, you know, they eventually get stuff wrong, even though she was completely right on other things, too. So we shouldn't take away credit from um, people that report on this stuff, but also there's very rarely a 100% track record. You might have a 70%, a 60, you know, Central Leaks. Twitter has a very good track record with leaks for Pokemon, but it's not 100%. This person, Practical Brush 12, is a 100% legit leaker. Clearly is seeing things coming from Nintendo and even third parties related to Nintendo early. I don't know how. I don't know if this is a developer. I don't know if this is someone on, the, on Nintendo's marketing team. I don't know if it's a third party that just seems to get access to this stuff. I have no idea. They might not even be the direct source. They just might have their own direct source, maybe a family member that works at Nintendo. I'm not sure, but I am wondering how long Practical Brush 12 is going to continue to get away with this. Now, it's possible it's an intentional leaker, okay? We can't rule out that Nintendo could have planted this person to be an intentional leaker to help build hype for upcoming announcements because we know that intentional leaks have been something that, that uh, studios have dabbled with in the past to help build hype for events. So it's possible that intentional leaks are here and that this is just an intentional leaker, hence their 100% track record. But whatever the case might be, I doubt Nintendo wanted the pretty much entirety of the last Nintendo Direct leaked. Pretty much everything. There was only a couple announcements he left off. It was basically everything, including games that we hadn't even heard of yet were, were was announced by him before the direct happened. So this guy clearly has access to Nintendo. I don't know how. I don't know if he just, maybe he's a hacker that accessed their servers and hasn't been caught yet. I'm not sure. The kind of information he provides makes me feel like this is someone who is either himself working for Nintendo, him or herself, I suppose, or 
has someone, a family member, or whoever that does that is showing them uh, stuff early. Um, I wonder how long this is going to continue. Nintendo hates typically when things leak. And I'm not talking about game leaks like, you know, leaking Breath of the Wild 2 to the internet to play early. That's a different type of leak than this. This is just announcement leaks. Uh, I think it's it's very interesting this person's gotten away with it this long. A whole year. And their account has only existed for a year. So from the existence of this account to today, they just know things. They have access to information. They have access to press event material long before it hits the public. Uh, and it, it's wild to me uh, that this is a thing that's happening and seemingly going unchecked. Um, this person's account on Reddit has not been requested to be shut down by Nintendo. And even if it was, I'm not sure that Reddit would listen because Nintendo doesn't control Reddit. I, I, I just find this whole thing to be utterly fascinating. Now, look, we have a lot of leakers. We just don't have ones with this pristine of a track record. We might have leakers be like, oh, we know the direct is coming on X day at X time. You know, uh, it, it so happened that Game Over Jesse knew when that Nintendo Direct was going to land because he had a source that told him, we know the Direct is coming at this time and this date, but he didn't know all of the games like this person did. So I guess the long story short is I'm excited about this Pokemon stuff. I don't think the leaks really hurt it. That's the interesting part. The leaks didn't hurt the announcements. Uh, and this guy's going unchecked. And I, this is a crazy world we're living in where we have a 100% track record leaker uh, that seemingly is just going unchecked and doing whatever they want and it's kind of awesome i got to admit it's kind of awesome that they're not getting caught i don't know how they're not getting caught but they're not so we'll see how long this continues but for at least one year and at least for 2021 here we got someone on our side that's going to let us know uh legitimately uh what's coming and uh so look forward to future reports on that as we get deeper into 2021 and Nintendo has more stuff. Zelda 35th anniversary. Can't wait to see what he knows about that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. If you enjoyed this short little video, let me down in the comments below. Hopefully the camera was focusing really well. I tried looking at the monitor so it stayed on my eyes. New lens, new lighting, new whatever. We're just trying to up the quality here at Nintendo Prime. Peace out.